I'm gonna tell you how to turn this into this. And both shots are made using the same webcam. It is incredibly easy to do and let's see how the magic works. Hi, my name is Arthur and welcome to the Movavi vlog 2021. Tech evolves like never before. 8K cameras, many frames per second, dope lighting, not to mention extra gear for streamers and YouTubers, but webcams, for some reason, they are not perfect and it may seem like they're left behind. But you need to understand that any webcam is a small device with a small sensor and a small lens. This is physically hard to achieve impressive results with shallow depth of field, high dynamic range and so on, at least today. And you might think, this webcam is so big, why even the smartphone's camera is doing better? Keep in mind that the processor on your smartphone is a lot more powerful than the processor on a cheap webcam. The technology is not so advanced to make your webcam a professional filmmaking device. Smartphones are slowly getting to this point, but you cannot say the same thing about webcams. If you need a more powerful camera for your streams and YouTube videos, you should check out one of the cameras that we've mentioned in our previous video, definitely check it out. Let's hope that some guy will come up with a high-end webcam to shoot movies on, but in the meantime, let's focus on what we have and, of course, let's make it better. I will show you two ways of making your footage better. The first way is for streamers using the OBS Studio and we're about to make everything in the OBS Studio in real time. The second way is for YouTubers or those who just want to record cool looking videos using a webcam. We're going to make it using the Movavi software. So let's move to the first way and actually the solution is beautifully simple. Step number one, find an angle that you want to use. Locate your webcam in this direction and compose your shot properly. Step number two, take a photo of your background from the webcam's point of view, but take it using a better camera like your smartphone camera or a DSLR. Also, I suggest you use a wide-angle lens, it will give you more flexibility in post, but if you don't have a wide-angle lens, no worries, it's fine. Step number three, film yourself in front of a green screen from the same angle but on a webcam. And make sure that you light yourself properly so the lighting on the photo matches the lighting on the video. It will make it more realistic. Step number four, toss the photo into software and add something beautiful like color correction, some stylish elements on the background and of course add some blur to the background to make it look more professional. Step number five, cut away your green screen and compose yourself with the background. Sounds complicated but it's actually pretty straight forward. So let's open up the OBS Studio and at first you need to install a free plugin called StreamFX. We'll leave the link in the description. The installation process is pretty straightforward. Launch the installer and locate a folder with the installed OBS Studio. This plugin does not work with the Streamlabs OBS and other software for running streams. For this case I'm gonna show you another way of doing this. So create a new scene and in the sources panel add a new image. Find the photo you've taken earlier, compose the photo in the shot as you wish, click on the filters button, then the plus button in the left hand corner and find here the blur filter. You will find here a few types of blur but I suggest you select the Gaussian blur. You can also change the direction of the blur but we're gonna stop at the basic area option. Don't get too crazy with the slider, make it realistic. We should also add some color correction. Let's correct gamma, contrast and maybe add some color grading making the background more blue-ish for the color contrast. Then sit in front of the camera, set a green screen behind you and add a layer with your webcam. In the camera settings, set everything on manual, turn off all the check marks and I recommend you to play around with the shutter speed because you might see yourself overexposed by default. On the webcam layer, add the chroma key filter play around with the settings to cut away the green screen and congratulations you're in focus the background is nice and blurry and it looks like we shot it on a professional camera beautiful okay we have a blurry background but what about the beautiful RGB light on the background the good thing is that we have the luxury to add some extra elements to the background because it's blurred out it will look more realistic well kind of Besides, what if you don't want to use the OBS Studio, you want to use other software? In that case, we're gonna edit our photo in the Movavi Pickverse. Drag the photo in the editor and in the right panel, you have the controls over the light and color of your image. Let's add some contrast, play around with the hue slider and there's even an artificial intelligence adjust feature. Definitely play around with it. Then open up the insert image section and click paste an image. I found three images, the neon 
sign, the neon beam and the blue spot. The blue spot I will place in the center to separate myself from the background, the neon sign on the right and the neon beam on the left to make it symmetrical. Edit the photo to this moment and then go back to the first menu and find the blur plugin. Increase the blur and our background is ready and save it and use it as a background for your videos. Now you can drag this background to the OBS and the background got more beautiful. From now you can basically use it in any other software for streaming. But what about a normal video? How can you create the same effect but in the video editor? Open up the Movavi Video Editor Plus, drag your footage inside, drop the video and the background onto the timeline and press Add Video Track. Place the video on the second track and the background on the first track. Go to the All Tools section, find Chroma Key and select a green color. Now just play around with the sliders and we have a professional video shot on a webcam. And we also have a quick guide on how to make footage from your webcam better. Go to our new web page by clicking the link in the description and check it out yourself. Also, on this page you'll be able to join the official Movavi community or even get best-selling Movavi products at a 20% discount. Keep in mind that this is more than we usually offer on the channel, so click the link. Also, check out these videos if you want to learn more about the content creation process. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next video.